What's up everybody? This is Curry here and uh, I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on using the free Audacity software program uh, to be able to manipulate and uh, to be able to create short audio clips from the software program. You can go on the internet, you can download a free copy of it. The great thing about this software tool is it's free to everyone. There's more expensive uh, software programs out there for working with your audio files. But as I said before, Audacity is a great program. It's free. A lot of people in the paranormal community use it for analyzing audio, for capturing short audio clips for EVPs and other interesting things that they're looking to capture and share with their group members. So I'm going to give you a real quick down and dirty tutorial on it. Uh, I'm working with the voice recorder I'm working with, and there's all kinds of different voice recorders out there on the market, is the Sony ICD-UX 560 uh, recorder. Love this little recorder. There's a couple of cool features on it. Uh, and uh, by the way, Sony should be paying me for this, uh, for this free advertising. So it's got a cool little feature on here. It's got an audio jack, uh, rather a USB jack uh, that, you can, that you can bring out here. You can plug it right into your USB jack on your laptop and download and import your audio file into Audacity and work with it from there. So really cool little recorder. I love it. Uh, the other cool thing about this is it doesn't need batteries. So you just plug this baby right into your laptop and uh, you can charge it. About an hour or so of charging and this thing's fully charged and ready to go. So really cool little recorder. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into the tutorial here. Okay, so we've got the voice recorder plugged into the USB port on the laptop. So right here on the desktop, I'm going to select the Audacity icon. It's the little headphone icon there. And uh, launch Audacity. I'll maximize this. And then you're going to go to File, Import, Audio. And this is going to bring up all the audio files I've recorded on my voice recorder. I'm going to try and find one that's a little bit smaller file so it won't take so long to import. And then I will select Open. And uh, it's just going to take a minute to uh, import this file in. If you have several hours of audio, it's going to take a lot longer to go ahead and import that file in. So there's my waveform that uh, just imported in. As you can see, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here in the right corner and select Zoom In. And uh, it'll actually zoom in on this waveform. And you can see these little... Uh, Time marks, these little time ticks, that's 1 minute, that's 105, 110, 115. And uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit further. And uh, so as you can see, it zooms in on the waveform a little bit more. I'll do a zoom again. And uh, so you're looking at 15, 20, 25, 30. So if I want to capture about 10 seconds of audio, I'll just go ahead and drag right here on the 15 to about the 25 second mark. Let's say that's the uh, part of the waveform that we're trying to capture. We have some sort of, um, you know, voice on there. We think we may have an EVP or some sort of sound or something we're trying to capture there. So we'll uh, work with that. As you can see, it highlights that little section of the waveform. And I will select Audit, Clip Boundaries, and Split. And as you can see, it puts the little markers on the uh, highlighted section there. And that'll tell you that it's actually clipped that piece of audio. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select File, Export, and I'm going to go down and make sure that you select Export Selected Audio. Uh, if you try to select one of these like Export as a wave, WAV, it's going to select the entire audio file and it's going to ex export the whole thing. You only want to export that one short little clip. So I'm going to select Export Selected Audio. And then it's going to come up with uh, this window asking me where I want to save it. I'll save this to the desktop. Uh, we'll say version 4. And I'll save this down. Select OK here. And it's going to save that little audio clip down here. So when I pull that up, I can listen to it. It's 10 seconds long. And there you go. Uh, there's your audio clip. And uh, now you can uh, email it out or save it to a website or whatever you want to do with that audio clip. Uh, I'll go back to the audio clip l real quick. One, one word of caution is I only like to save anywhere from about 10 to 30 seconds uh, of audio clips. The reason why is any more than 30 seconds is that file is going to get really large 
and it makes it more difficult to email and share with other team members. So uh, that's why I try to keep it no longer than about 30 seconds long if I can. And uh, oftentimes my clips that I think may be EVPs, I try to keep them down to about maybe 10 or 15 seconds. Another thing you may want to consider is if, th if this is the portion you think is your actual EVP, you may want to set, save about five seconds, capture about five seconds before where you hear the voice and maybe another five seconds after and kind of center that in the middle of the audio clip. That way you can kind of hear what's going on before and after. And sometimes you may want to capture a little bit more before and after the actual audio that you're trying to capture. So uh, you may need 10 seconds before and 10 seconds after. In this case, you may be working with 15, 20 seconds uh, on your audio file. But again, I try to keep them down to about 30 seconds when I'm doing these. So uh, that's one thing you can do is, is just capture enough time on the either end of that audio file. And then one other feature I want to show you here is you can select Effect, Amplify, and uh, you can see this little slide bar here. If you're looking to enhance it a little bit, to make it sound a little bit, you can, you can increase the volume a little bit on this thing. You can drag it up. Let's say we drag it up to about 8 or 9. Let's choose 9 and select OK. See how it blew up that audio, that waveform? Uh, that's probably a little bit too much. I'll go back to Amplify. We'll drag it down just a little bit, maybe down to about 5. That's a little bit better. You can see it blew up that waveform a little bit. And then when you share that audio file, it may be a little bit easier for your uh, group members to hear. Now, just a word of caution. Uh, well, one thing I will say is some people are not big fans of enhancing audio files, especially if they think they may be EVPs. But all you're doing is kind of increasing the volume on that uh, to make it a little bit easier to hear. A lot of times we'll find on EVPs, uh, they are pretty faint. And sometimes if you don't have a really good set of headphones, it's difficult to hear. So if you just amplify it a little bit, sometimes it's a little bit easier to hear. So just that's another uh, cool tool you can do on there. Uh, so that's it for this video. It, it, again, it's just kind of quick, down and dirty on how to capture audio clips. I'm looking at doing another uh, video on some of the more enhanced features on Audacity I use for podcasting. And I'm also looking at creating a video, uh, uh, creating a video on doing NVIDIA enhancements using the Wondershare program. So uh, look for those. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. And uh, if you have any feedback, please share that. Any ideas about better ways to do things on here on Audacity? You can also share those uh, on, the, uh, on the video. So thanks for tuning in. And again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll be doing another video here shortly.